Depression. Honestly, I don't even want to try to make this video funny because depression just isn't. However, I can assure you that the video is nonetheless going to be very interesting. And that's because there's scientific evidence not only from observational trials, but also from randomized control trials showing that we can treat depression with dietary interventions. Meet the SMILES trial. The first randomized control trial to explicitly seek to answer the question, if I improve my diet, will my mental health improve? Let's find out. Australian researchers randomly assigned 67 people to two groups. The first one, a social support group, in which people followed a standardized befriending protocol, which acted as the control group. This is a professionally supervised setting with the intention to keep participants engaged and positive, but without using specific techniques of psychotherapy. The second group received the dietary intervention, which comprised personalized dietary advice and nutritional counseling support, including motivational interviewing, goal setting and mindful eating from a clinical dietitian in order to support optimal adherence to the recommended diet. And this recommended diet focused on the consumption of whole grains, vegetables, fruit, legumes, low fat and unsweetened dairy foods, raw and unsalted nuts, fish, lean red meats, chicken, eggs, and olive oil while reducing the intake of processed food. Now, what's interesting is how they arrived at that recommendation, because next to the Australian dietary guidelines and the dietary guidelines for adults in Greece, they also took their own research on the dietary recommendations for the prevention of depression into consideration. And what these show is that traditional dietary patterns and within those specifically whole plant foods, such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grain cereals, and nuts and seeds seem to be particularly effective for preventing depression. Another food group they specifically point to in this context is long chain omega-3 fatty acids from marine sources and they mention oily fish here. Another marine source of these long chain omega-3s could be algae oil, which unlike some fish does not pose the risk of mercury contamination and it's more environmentally friendly. With that being said, let's find out what the participants were able to achieve. After 12 weeks, both groups showed improvements in the severity of depressive symptoms. What's fascinating is that the dietary group improved significantly more. On average, the social support group stayed within the range of moderate depression, whereas the dietary group went down to mild depression and 10 people, so a third of the dietary group, even experienced remission compared to just two in the control group. Next to these pretty astounding results, I would like to mention two more very interesting facts about the SMILES trial. First, the participants were allowed to eat as much as they liked, did not change their physical activity and also did not lose weight. So their improved mood had nothing to do with weight loss or sports, which provides further support for the beneficial role of dietary improvement per se. Secondly, let's look at costs. Contrary to popular opinion about healthier diets being more expensive, Participants in the SMILES trial actually had to spend less money on food during the trial compared to their previous unhealthier diets. On top of that, a subsequent economic evaluation showed that compared with the social support condition, average total health sector costs and average societal costs were lower for those receiving dietary support. One of the reasons is that a healthy diet can not only alleviate depressive symptoms, but there is an interplay with physical health as well. That way, participants in the dietary intervention group had fewer doctor's appointments and missed fewer work days. So this trial challenges two commonly held notions that it's too costly for individuals, as well as for the healthcare sector to maintain and support healthy diets. What the SMILES trial shows is that dietary interventions centered around whole plant foods can be accessible, affordable, and effective tools in the treatment of depression. And on a very direct and personal level, this has the potential to help people enjoy their lives with less sadness and suffering and feel more joy and happiness. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that the information might be helpful for you or for someone you care about. If you are in difficulty as you're watching this, there's really no shame at all in reaching out and asking for help. Feel free to check out the description box below where we put together some links that might be helpful. If you like this video and would like to learn more about nutrition, visit our website at pan-int.org and follow us on our social media profiles. Thank you for watching.